someone can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. You take 20 seconds out of your day to sign a stick or throw a puck over the glass or do just take a picture and it kind of lasts that kid a lifetime. Welcome back to All Over the Place with Lane Fable. I'm your host, Lane Fable, and today we have Jack Gates, a former D1 hockey player and the founder of Triumph Together Foundation. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Thanks it. for coming on, Jack. <laughs> All right, will you first just tell us a little bit about how you got started with Triumph Together? Yeah, so it started about two years ago. Um, it was my senior year of college, and I was fortunate enough to play hockey in college, and I always enjoyed kind of giving back to the community and supporting the community who came out to our games and supported us throughout um, just our careers and my senior year it was COVID was happening and I witnessed a lot of the children's hospitals in our area kind of shutting down and a lot of the kids that were going through things were kind of stuck in the hospital and didn't have anything to really do in that in that instance and the biggest thing that I found in sports is kind of feeling a part of a team and having other people to lean on so we kind of started that my senior year and helping kids that were in those hospitals during those COVID times and either, whether it be Zoom calls or um, raising money through the school to give them gifts for, for Christmas and Thanksgiving, things like that. And started there and it just started slowly and then it kind of snowballed and other other athletes across the country saw kind of what we were doing and wanted to be a part of it. And um, it kind of grew across the country and it grew quick in the past year or so. We've talked about 80 kids across the entire country and different teams, different sports, different colleges, pro teams, and things like that. So it's been it's been a good ride so far. Triumph Together helps connect collegiate and pro athletes with kids at children's hospitals. Um, we get them signed gear, we get them tickets to games, meet and greets with players, things like that. But as we've been going, it's kind of grown to not only athletes, but people in entertainment and just people who have a platform to kind of give back and kind of be a a light to these kids and so we just kind of any kid who who sees someone at a at a high level and have a platform and enjoy their presence I think we kind of connect them with them and that's amazing is there a specific moment you can remember that was like oh I want to start this as a nonprofit and make it more of instead of like one act of service and into a whole nonprofit yeah so the first kid we helped out actually before we even started this and made it kind of official the head of the children's hospital in Colorado Springs came to our school oh yeah wait spoke. we should say what college uh, your alma mater in Colorado College. So I was in Colorado Springs and um, the the head of the hospital came and visited and I reached out and I said, hey, how can I get involved? I want to kind of give back. And would it be cool if our team came and visited these kids? And so my roommates and I went and visited these kids and brought them kind of some signed gear, met with them, hung out with them for the day. And it was super cool to see. All the parents were just super appreciative. A lot of these kids were stuck in hospital beds for months at a time and just seeing them smile and being able to, whether it be color with them or kind of read them books or things like that was super cool. And then once I officially made it, kind of part of our system and uh, the first kid we helped out uh, is kid Cooper he has a kind of a an illness that is uncurable at the moment but he just loved every second of it he's a huge hockey fan and we met on zoom um, during COVID and then we were able to bring him out to a game and a practice and I've, I've hung out with him probably 10 to 15 times and every time has been a blast even if it's not even an event I go back and visit and go to last time we went to like an arcade and just hung out for like an hour and his it was a great time just seeing how happy he was and how I can learn from him and how kind of excited he was to see me and just kind of his outlook on life is great because he was in a position that no kids should ever have to be in, but he's just the nicest, sweetest kid ever and just has the greatest outlook. So, yeah, it's yeah, cool they're, to see. They're faced with a reality that I think even most adults don't confront yeah. until maybe so many years later. Do you think that you could get a little interview with Cooper and we can add it in? I know For you were sure. mentioning yeah, that. Yeah, we can definitely get him in. That would be really sweet yeah. to have a little a cameo from Cooper on yep. the podcast. Yep. My name is Cooper Tippett and I'm 10 years old. Trying together, I did um, a Anaheim Ducks game. It was a really good experience. We got to go with my sister, myself, my mom and dad. Which was pretty what did I do? Who else did we go with? Uh, Jack Gates. And what did we, what did you get to do? Uh, right on the Zambone. Yeah, and where did we watch uh, warm-ups from? 
the penalty box. It's pretty sweet. Uh huh. Yeah. We got to meet Wild Wing. Wild and Wing. What was your favorite part of that night? Do you remember? Probably meeting Trevor Zergiers. Yeah, having him throw the stick to you over the top. Yeah. Do you remember getting mini donuts with Jack? Oh, okay. That might have been my favorite part. That sorry. was pretty fun. Sorry, Trevor, but <laughs> mini, mini donuts, you can't really be. So. <laughs> that was pretty fun. And what else did you do with Triumph together? We went to the opening game of the season with my mom for Colorado College. Yeah. And Go Tigers. I got a tour of the locker room, which was pretty cool. It's amazing. Uh, it's an amazing organization. An amazing organization, led by an amazing guy. Uh huh. Yeah. We can't wait to hear him again. An amazing hockey again. player and guy. Oh, see? Yeah. Can't wait to see him again, huh? Uh huh. Cool. Thanks, Coop. Yeah. Hi, my name is JC and I'm nine years old. I went to two different events with Jack. I went to a San Diego Waves and a girls day out. My favorite part about the San Diego Waves was I got to hold Alex Morgan's hand during the national anthem. And I liked rolling down the hill at the beginning. I also went to a girls day out where we got to make jewelry. And at the end we went to a picnic and the picnic was my favorite part. And I also liked eating the sugar cookie with sprinkles on it. It was really good. I like it. Okay, bye. Hi, my name is Jocelyn, and I'm 11 years old. And to uh, triumph together, it took me to uh, the Ducks hockey game. And then I, they took me to uh, the Kinder Scott to make jewelry. And I met a whole bunch of cancer warriors. And we had a beautiful picnic. And uh, then my favorite is uh, the wave soccer game that I met all the players. Thank you, Trump, together for sending me. You've created incredible memories for these kids, and I actually had the pleasure of being a part of a few of the yeah. San Diego events here um, through the Wave women's soccer team. And also, you did a picnic where you let some of the children paint your toes with tail polish, which I've seen firsthand just how involved Jack is in Triumph Together. So it's been so great to see everything that you're doing. Do you have... What is like your next event? What is the next steps? We have we have a lot of events coming up. When, now that football season's starting, we have a couple um, football teams helping out, and they, they just continue. So they kind of we have like once a week coming up. So it's it's definitely heavy coming up. Um, but we try and help as many kids as possible. So it's busy, but there's there's a lot happening. With next up, we got Stanford football, UCLA football. Notre Dame, um, Texas, Boulder. So that's just the next month or so. So teams have been reaching out. Athletes have been helping out, which has been amazing. Every every athlete I reach out to is mm -hmm. super involved, and they, they can't wait to help out. So it's been a great thing. Like I found all athletes kind of want to give back, and they want to use their platform to do good. They just don't really know how or don't have the time. So I think just being able to bridge that gap and find the kids that need help and find the athletes that want to help mm -hmm. is kind of the main purpose of this whole thing. Yeah, I love that. And it makes such a difference because to a kid that looks up to these, I know since you played collegiate yeah. hockey, you don't think of it maybe the same, but do you remember like maybe when you were younger, how cool it felt to be talking to anyone older than you and specifically like an older athlete? Yeah, definitely. I think that's the main thing too is you take 20 seconds out of your day to sign a stick or throw a puck over the glass or do just take a picture and it kind of lasts that kid a lifetime like we have families reach out year like since I started the first couple of ones I've been doing they're like my kid still talks about this to this day and like the coolest thing is I take them to an event and some of the kids play the sport some of them mm -hmm. know the sport well some of them are f new to the sport and then their parents call me a week or two after they're like they wanted to sign up like right kid. they're like okay now she's in cheer because she went to an ssu cheer like thing and then another kid's like oh he can't stop talking about hockey we got him in skating lessons now like just events just things like that super cool to see and just see how much the kids enjoy even at a young age and it can you know kind of change what they what they do the rest of their lives so yeah, it's pretty cool give yeah. them something else to focus on that isn't maybe everything of the hardships that they're going through at the moment with yeah, their illnesses for sure what is a lesson that you've learned from the journey from starting Triumph Together and you wish you could impart on everybody listening? I heard something. It's It said, someone can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. And I thought that was pretty cool. Just like knowing like throughout your, your days or weeks, you can take part every day to just make an impact in one person's life. It goes a long way. So 
I mean, I just try to do that week in and week out. I was just trying to help someone as much as possible. And, you know, that that makes a difference. So just helping one person, one kid at a time. And I think that that can make a big difference. Absolutely. And I think it's already started to compound. And I feel like Triumph Together will just continue to grow and, you know, help even more kids across the country. So you travel for Triumph Together right now. I'm trying to. Okay, I try okay. as much as possible. Yeah. But yeah, I, I try when I can. And if there's anybody listening that wants to take part and join or help in any way they can, what's the best way to help you with that? Yeah, I mean, right now we're definitely grassroots kind of early on, but anyone who has some sort of connection and wants to help at all, like just even just spreading the word, um, we do everything through um, through monetary donations. So if you can do that through our website, chimetogether.net, if you know, if you are an athlete or know of an athlete that wants to help out, that would be amazing. Um, any team, any connection to we try and get more broadcasted on different news articles and outlets and things like that. So if you have a connection there, just really anything. We yeah, definitely so, do. So Pretty share. much anything. Yeah. Everyone everyone can help out. So share this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Even if you can't donate monetarily, you can absolutely share the word and yeah. get Triumph Together out there and more people involved, more people to know about it. And maybe, yeah. you know, someone in your network has someone that can help. Yeah, I think if you just follow us along, we're very active on on social media. Actually, just Instagram, but we're trying to. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. We're trying to grow. Yeah, I need. Facebook I need, and TikTok. I need to help those. Yeah, so if you see the TikTok, you. throw that one a follow. But yeah, Instagram. It. Instagram is triumph underscore together underscore. Um, that's kind of where we post everything. But yeah, even just sharing those events and sharing it on your story, and um, hopefully people kind of grow and and like and follow along because we do events as much as possible and especially this coming season we have we have a lot in the works so hopefully hopefully it's a good one if you could have any athlete or any celebrity apart and helping with triumph together who would it be that's a good question i'm putting him on the spot now we went question. through like all of the questions that's that a good know. one i mean so hockey we have a very good resource and just kind of plethora of athletes so I've been I've been fortunate to get some very high end athletes mm -hmm. there, and um, soccer wise, we had Alex Morgan a couple of times, which has been amazing. Okay, but I'm talking new, like new ones. Aim I'd say. high. I I, we'll I want to get I watch daily. football I watch football a lot, okay. so I definitely go like uh, Joe Burrow or Josh Allen. Um, I'm literally yeah. calling you out by name to come and help drive together. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a big dream, but yeah. I don't think it's too big. We'll I think. The worst, you already have your no, so you have to just yeah, start asking. There's been a couple of surprises that I'm like, okay, let's, let's do it. They said they're in, let's, let's do it. But that's the coolest thing, too, is now that I have, like, like contacts of, mm -hmm. like, very high-end athletes, it's like, I feel cool, with, like, hitting them and texting them again. No, but that's like, incredible. They pop up on my phone, I'm like, damn, this is, this is nice, this is cool. I mean, <laughs> even when we were at the Wave game, I'm like, okay, bye, guys, like, have fun in your section, I'm going down to the field. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, that's really cool. Yeah, it's cool like, for me. I get to experience things that I normally wouldn't experience, and, like, it's fun for me too with these kids too like i get to do things that i get to stay in touch with with athletics and being sports and that's something yeah. i wasn't a collegiate athlete but that's something that when you play sports your whole life and then you end up you know graduating college and you hit that wall where you no longer have that competitive nature because oh, yeah. like if you play the league games with like friends it's frowned upon to be super competitive yeah i don't do i don't do many like my older brother still plays in a hockey league anymore, beer league yeah. and he gets like fouled out and he gets yeah. <laughs> and the barn burners yeah i don't i don't do those anymore i gotta you, i gotta okay. get back into it i started pickleball i played pickleball against the old man my dad beat me in pickleball the other day so i gotta practice that but yeah i gotta get back into some sort of sports but this is better okay you dead. have to explain what barn burner is because anyone that's taught like anyone that's listening i don't even say that it's my roommate says barn burner he just thinks there he just thinks it's a little more exciting than just saying a game so he calls it a barn burner anything a super close any game. close game yeah it makes it a little more exciting i'll say we have them theatrics. hanging out off camera and yeah. i love the input it's really yeah. just one big <laughs> yeah you need to do something i tried to get i'm actually gonna call out brian on this oh, brian no. was supposed to be on this jack's roommate from college and roommate now Bailed. who he's been been a big part of time together he right he's been there since the beginning yeah he was we'll been my roommate for a while you. so yeah he's been there since day one he was at the hospital with us when we first went he was on that zoom call with coop he's been i might have been to everywhere just, yeah, i might have to add an, a little addendum from when i did have him on the microphone like a little bit yeah we'll see we'll although see. he's quick, out right now so it'll probably be yeah he doesn't deserve it i don't know if it's gonna be um proper to have him on after drinking like that what are the questions we got 
Oh, wait. No, I want to talk about the hockey lingo. We don't have, like... I want to know. I Give us some words. I don't know. No, you have to, like... I know Mackenzie knows some, but, no, like, what, is, what are they... You guys said one when we were... It's just, like, words. It's not, like... It's just different... It's just funny yeah, to me. Just, I, I love it. It's not, like, a new word. It's just a different way to say it that's, like, just yeah. comes out and just... But that's, I don't really know. like, hockey slang. Yeah. I don't really know, like... Now I'm drawing a blank, too. See what happens when they're cameras There's Canadian lo- lingo, too, though. He says, like, okay, like ha- they say moss, like, let's chill. He says, like, let's moss. Really? Like, my roommates are... Because, like, one thing about, like, hockey is everyone's... There's athletes from all over the world, so you get a lot of, like, lingo hockey. from Canada, a lot of lingo from, like, Sweden, a lot of... There's a lot of different words being flown yeah, it's around. Yeah, a lot of cultures so it's, that like, come together. A lot of cultures, which is nice, and, like, that's how I was able to do this whole thing is uh, there's just connections you grow from all over the country and like just being able to meet all these people that grew up all over the place and it kind of makes you a bit more mature because you've lived in many different places mm-hmm. and kind of grew up like all over so that helps grow connections too so is triumph together just in the usa right now or are you- as of now we're trying to get up to canada that's that's the next goal what other lofty goals do you have for Triumph together that we can- I'm just happy to be here. I'm just taking it day by day and seeing where it goes. Um, I, I just didn't think it would continue to be this. I was kind of off a whim just going mm-hmm. for something. And I always kind of enjoyed testing new waters and doing new things. Um, and this kind of stuck. And I'm trying to, I'm, I'm winging it as, as much as I, but you can, I don't know much. You so. can definitely, but you do. And you can definitely tell there's passion behind it because... No one would be giving their weekends in their mid twenties to all of this work. Yeah. And it's really admirable to see you guys. And I've seen like your friends and a bunch of our friends kind of get together and give their time, which yeah. I think is another huge thing. So like if anyone wants to volunteer, do you ever need volunteers or right now like the biggest help you it's can do? It's more just are- like support, but we have different events like fundraising events and things like that that are in person and mm-hmm. a lot of times we do go to like sporting events where a lot of the tickets ticket sales go to go to triumph and things like that just like yeah the support's been awesome through all the people i've known yeah. all the all the family all the friends everyone has been has been great so yeah and seeing it firsthand is kind of a different level like being able to see it kind of in person is pretty special so yeah, yeah. is there anyone like specific you want to thank like i said everyone's been so on board since day one just like all my roommates have been great. All my teammates, like anytime I reach out to anybody that I've played with for a month, I've played with for years, I've been a part of a camp and mm-hmm. been with them for a week. Just like, just randomly like texting them and them being like, yes, I'd love to. Or people I don't even know, like it's like a friend of a friend that I text and they're way too big of a league for me. And they like, they're like, I'd love to, what can I do? They're just so on board, which has been amazing. And that's like the coolest thing about all of it is just how like supportive everyone is. And it's definitely, it's not even only sports. I know that you had specifically one of the events, the picnic event that I was at, you, you started kind of branching out into, you know, internet personalities and like those type of things. Are there any actors or actresses that you think would be a good fit to partner with Triumph together? Yeah, I'm a big music guy, so uh, I think that's what I would, I, for me personally, that would be fun to get the, in, well, I think also, in the music biz, because that's, I mean, that's kind of goes hand in hand a little bit. Like, yeah, music, I feel like, is such a a mood booster, and it yeah. absolutely, like, especially if you're a kid that has, like, a favorite artist, yeah, and, you know, you get to meet cool. them, or... Yeah have a signed piece of anything yeah so i'm trying to get more involved in kind of agencies a little bit just to have like the sports involved as well as the the musician part of it so we'll see hopefully that'd so be, that's my question yeah so cool. more specifically like do you want it to surpass just sports yeah i mean everyone that yeah sports is kind of where it started that's kind of what i know it's the bread and butter but if it can grow to more than that that would be pretty cool and like the event you were talking about was a it was super cool so oh my, it was, it was like yeah i did a little girls day um for the day so yeah yeah Ka- take us through that uh, yeah um katie thurston from the bachelorette i actually met her at a sporting event she was special guest at the game she kind of went out there and kind of rung the opening bell and whatnot and started the game out and afterwards i was down on the field and she's like i'd love to get involved any way that i could and so we set up kind of like, I didn't really know how to involve that in sports. So this is my first kind of outing of that. I'm like, mm-hmm. let's do a girl's day. So we got eight girls from the hospital. 
and we went to Kendra Scott and got custom jewelry. <laughs> we got some bracelets, some necklaces, totally out of my, my comfort zone here. So it was me and, and eight little girls and their their sisters and their moms. And then we did like a luxury picnic that Lane was great about setting up. And then um, we kind of did the whole picnic thing, played with some bubbles and some some stickers and ran, played games. Yeah, decorated jewelry boxes. And yeah, just things like that. Just like Katie just wanted to use her platform to kind of spread good and do you know help out when she could because she knew the kids didn't really know who she was but she knew that when she was there hanging out like even just like that presence of like this kind of like older female role model yeah. there for the kids is great and then she was able to kind of share the word on social media and use her platform to kind of spread what we were doing which is which is pretty cool yeah just they i could see and i saw firsthand and that's another reason why i am such a fan of triumph together and would like to help in any way possible because to see those kids and their families like to see the parents get together and they're sharing an experience that's unlike anything that a parent should have to go through and for them to have the network of support that's that's a lot of feedback that i get from from parents and and things like that is they reach out to me afterwards and like thank you so much for setting this up me and so and so's mom talked for a while just about how to get through these things because these parents shouldn't have to go through these things either so like being able to just have like a support system and meet new people and have the kids meet new people and the siblings the siblings didn't ask for this either Mm. so the siblings are going and hanging out with siblings that are going through similar experiences and so i think that's that's been a cool thing as well just connecting families and creating a community where they can relate to one another and be come friendly and kind of go to other events because we work with a lot of different other kind of charities in the area around the country and we kind of help similar kids and the same kids and kind of do group events mm-hmm. and they kind of build a community that like, know what they're going through and it's been so great just to see like the support that they they do and like some kids that are in remission or out of it can go and help like one girl's been great she this girl jocelyn she i've helped her out a few times and she is out of remission she's been done for like two or three years but Mm -hmm. she goes back still to like these other girls who are ringing the bell and they go to their parties and hang out and like just give kind of feedback and give support and kind of give her experience of what she's gone through because they're really never out of it that's kind of what i've learned too i didn't really know anything going into this but families and the kids are never really like out of the treatments they're still if they get the flu they have to go to the hospital for weeks if they they can always go back and just things like that that we take for granted just our health every day and absolutely we get a cough and we're like oh we're fine but they get a cough and it's like they have to go to the er so there's things like that that we don't understand that other families and kids that are going through it can which has been pretty cool yeah and it definitely puts it into perspective i think that's another thing that it benefits to share it on social media just to kind of give people a break in the noise that is social media and everything that mm-hmm. is so frivolous that this is actually something that you know we take for granted day to day like you said yeah yeah i think like it's definitely helped me personally like you have a shitty day at work you're just like this sucks but then you like look back you're like you're like i got my help yeah you're like these kids are going through things like they're in the hospitals for weeks and months on end something i didn't even cross my mind it's not only about helping the children, it's about helping their siblings, yeah. their parents, and then they also have friends that otherwise no child that age would know what they're going through. Yeah, it's that, and it's not only like just time and things like that, but it's like money too. Their parents are paying for expensive treatments, like they mm-hmm. don't have time to go on trips or yeah. go give them gifts for Christmas and stuff, so I try and help out as much as possible, and like that front too is like we try and give gifts for Christmas and, and birthdays, and birthdays and-, and things like that, so yeah donate yeah use the links use the links below yeah anything (laughs) anything at all you guys want to do to help anything you can offer to help it really goes a long way i know that you were saying that like every single donation counts so yeah for sure and if you have anything that like want to set up event like we're doing events that have nothing to do with sports or everything to do with sports we're have fraternities we're doing different sporting events or games and things like that that we're we've been going throughout the year so we're excited for those kind of growing more in that front so yeah big name drops jack eichel alex morgan duncan Mo- robinson kale mccarr who else do we got big thank you who's to the them. big boys megan rapino trevor zegris yeah that's a big one yeah all these guys are so great like i barely know them and they they're more than willing to help out and they help out with with whatever they can i know but hey Nova's just chilling under the table. You guys heard her bark. She thinks you have food. 
It's not very um, polished or any corporate at all. It's just me running it. So Well, you're still in the first few years. Yeah, so it's like a family either reaches out to me f- through social media or through my website and emails me or a kid that I helped recommend someone, and then we go from there. And they tell me, they're like, okay, these are a sport I like. This is where I live. This is my the team the kid likes, whatever. And then from there, I just go on their roster or something and see mm-hmm. who mutual friends I have. And I'm like, hey, can you mind, like, texting them, seeing if they're, they're oh, in? that's awesome. I didn't so, know this was the Yeah, podcast. no, that's like – if I don't, like, there's some sports and teams that I know very well, and then there's some that I have no idea. Like, there's, like, a couple of football teams, a couple of basketball teams. I'm, like, struggling. Baseball teams especially. I'd, baseball's tough. And so we're just, like, all right, who knows someone? Who's from this city? Who Who is mutual followers? So I'm, like, scrolling their roster. I'm, like, all right, this kid's around our age. He might not have someone that I know. What? And so I kind of hit him up from there. But I realize that it's way easier to kind of go through their, like, front offices because mm-hmm. they can do a lot more. They can get more – I mean, the, the – athletes have been great they're like i'm in i can get them tickets and then they can meet they're playing so they're not yeah. involved in that like they're like i don't want to bug them too during the game day they're like all right text me like the day before they're like all right meet yeah, me you gotta start talking to their manager at this concourse like at this level after the game and i just text the parents and like sometimes i'm not there i'm like well i hope he shows up <laughs> i'm like i really hope and they've been great they've always met him and always done everything but i'm like it's it not in my hands i'm not there there's like nobody ho- telling them where to go like and so i'm just like all right it's, we'll see what happens but yeah now i'm kind of more involved with uh, the front office, whether it's be like the social outreach people or the media people, mm-hmm. rinkside, courtside, whatever, field side people have been great because they're like there and kind of know the players yeah. personally. So them being involved has been great because they get to like be at the game and then they're like, okay, come with me. I'll show they you. Know, like, and they can they get them like on the Jumatron. That's the best thing that like these kids oh, love. Oh, absolutely. Their kids love being on the Jumatron and they love the, um, the mascots. You yeah. like never understand because like a lot of these kids, have never been to like a sporting event or a, an event like that at that capacity because mm-hmm. they've been in the hospital they can't be around people and things like that so like they go to an event and you're just like oh there's this like you take things to oh the food like uh, the con- concessions the mascot the jumbotron the wave the band like you don't understand like it makes sense what's happening and these kids are like just staring at the mascot pointing like giving them hugs you're like it is he's at every game he's, he, yeah you're not, you're not what you're here for you are here for these uh, but love their so mascot much. and they're young they don't know and then they're like they're trying to get on jumbotron the whole time and like fortunate enough we've been able to get on the jumbotron a lot just like signs we make or like being able to connections like they know we're there so they love the jumbotron they love the mascots things that you take for granted don't really realize what you're what you're doing but yeah no that's amazing and i i hope that it just continues to grow and you continue to hit the milestones and hopefully be part of it and i'll help any way possibly can is there anything that you'd like to leave the listeners with no i think just just being able to just keep supporting keep sharing um spread the word as much as possible kind of every little thing it's kind of cliche but every little thing helps so um, just sharing it with your friends, sharing it with your family, putting a story up there, liking it, just everything kind of, <laughs> kind of goes a long way. So Nova's really yeah. trying to get in this episode. Yeah. Come here. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I'm, yeah. We can as have, Triumph yeah. grows, we'll continue to for sure. update. Yeah. Everybody. We're early on, early on. Let's keep it going. Awesome. Yeah. We'll make sure to follow Triumph together on all of the social media platforms. Cause I'm going to help him start some right now. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see you next Monday. And like the pod, follow the pod. Repost. Land, Land does a great Land Pop does a great job. She puts in a lot you. of work, a lot of effort. So she's setting cameras up left and right, right in my face. And I mean, I forgot lights tonight. So, so if you're watching yeah. the episode, um, it's a little, a little you made bright. it. Yeah, the sun went down. I was yeah. a little late. What are you yeah. gonna do? Well, all right. Yeah, well, thank you, Jack. Yes. I thought that was great. Barn burner. <laughs> <laughs>